set of races for the day. And then we will go and do it all again. As uh, Joseph O'Neill leads out the pit bike veterans, the more mature riders, let's say. The experienced pack, as I like to call them. And, you know, that might mean something quite significant in conditions such as these, Jacob, because they'll be slightly more used to this one. Okay, so versus some of the, uh, some of the very young ones, probably a lot more experienced. Uh, so maybe able to deal slightly better with these conditions for their first race of the day. Yeah, I'm sure they've all been out in the wet before. A couple of riders who have already been out today, in Steve Booth and Paul Moore. So Paul Moore manages to keep it on the straight and narrow this time round. Nice to see that he's uh, not feeling the effects too much of an earlier spill. It was Paul Ward that went down, wasn't it, Howard? I'm not making this uh, up. Yeah, he did have an incident earlier on, thus completely disproving our theory that we just have, uh, that they'll be uh, able to deal with it. Let's talk you through the grid, though. Richard Rice uh, leads this one away from Paul Steve Booth alongside Julian Crom Gromit and James Moss to make up the second row. Then it's Steve Allen and Gary Carter on row three. Fourth row will be Joseph O'Neill and Simon Thackeray. Um, Howard Taylor and Dennis Latham close out the top ten. Then it'll be Mark Hancock starting from 11th um, and then it remains to be seen whether we're joined by Paul Ward, Darren Savage, John Pearson and John Greasley who weren't able to set a time in qualifying. Uh, championship wise this one is still to play for between Richard Rice and Steve Booth. They have a gap of 34 points here and it's 60 for the win. So this one is still to be claimed today. Correct me if I'm wrong, Howard, but did we not see James Mostica run away with this class in similar conditions at Ryra a couple of weeks back? Well, I think that is a very good memory you've got on you there, sir. I think you're absolutely correct. Uh, as we wait for the formation of the grid for this one, just waiting for everybody to be in position. Flag at the back's up, flag at the front is up. When that drops, it's time for more fun in the British mini bikes, and away we go. It's a good start from Richard Rice, but also from Steve Booth. Your two key players at the sharp end of this championship are first and second. They started as that, they stay as that, as they come up the hill for the first time. But Julian Gromit is also going to look to buy into this. And behind them, it's oh. Gary Carter and James Down Mostica. Steve Down goes Steve Booth. That could be massive for the championship in this class. That could be critical. Now, I, did, I, was, uh, I was looking out the window, mate. Did you see on the screen whether there was anything that led to that? Was that just losing oh, it under the conditions? Of his own accord, unfortunately. He's uh, come on the exit of Christmas and perhaps got the power down a little too early. Uh, that leaves Richard Rice out in front of this one with Gary Carter for company. We'll see what the order is now as they come back through. Uh, he's back on his bike and trying to pick his way back through the pack is Steve Booth. But yes, Richard Rice in the lead. Julian Gromit, second place. Gary Carter in third. Steve Allen, James Mostica round out your top five. Simon Thackeray is sixth. Howard Taylor is seventh. Eighth is Joseph O'Neill. Ninth, Steve Booth. Paul Ward, tenth. Twelfth, Dennis Latham. And twelfth. Drama on the first lap here of our veterans. We picked up, I believe, Steve Allen and Jake Mostica here in fourth and fifth place. They're chasing down Gary Carter, who's in the nice orange high viz. Through the Zulus, they come for the second time. Yeah, let's get Marshall out on that bike. Um, as at the inside looks, Mostica thinks better of it. We cut back now to our downed rider, who is Steve Booth, I think. Who picked him up there? Ninth. We'll have to check as we come back through it. Look, at him. Mostiga takes a much wider line on the exit of the boot, and it comes off for him. He's no, sorry, camera angles uh, fooling me. That was Steve Booth, back up to sixth place already. Great recovery from him, Howard. Yeah, absolutely, and he needs it. Here he is on the. Of this. But to be fair, he didn't. He did get right back on his, but he's down again. He's down again. 
just a few meters on from where it happened to him on lap one. Steve Booth is down. Your second place man in the championship. Whilst the first place man continues to lead this race. And that is not what he needs right now if he wants to take the fight to Richard Rice for this title. He may have the fastest lap of the race, a 53.453, which is the fastest by a long way. So when he's on it, he's on it. But it's difficult to stay on circuit going at the pace that he's going, Jacob. You know, the last thing I said was, what a great recovery, Howard. <laughs> and then you, you didn't finish the sentence before he's down again. Devastating for Mr. Booth there. Um, maybe he can do it again. He's got seven laps. Maybe. But... Uh, making life a little harder for himself. We cut back to the front there. This is Julian Gromit on the 75 bike chasing Richard Rice. Gromit has also had uh, a good season. He's third in the standings. And, uh, this will do well for him in securing uh, third in the championship versus James Mostica. But we cut back to Steve Booth on the recovery ride here. This is Mostica we've got here. Uh, Again, we've got the inside of the boot. And uh, wide goes Steve, Steve Allen. Allen. Yeah. He takes a trip across the grass, comes back on. He's lost a place, but uh, luckily for him, only a place. He's down in fifth now. James Mostica promoted to fourth. Yep, sorry, absolutely. Yep, that was Mostica. There is uh, Steve Booth. Uh, briefly then, but we have to look back at the front here because Gromit is on the back of Richard Rice. The gap closed down by almost four tenths on that last lap. And, uh, Richard Rice, of course, won't want to throw away anything carelessly here. They exit the Zulus onto the back straight. A couple of tenths between them. Gary Carter on the number 11 is uh, in third place. Uh, and ready to pick up any spoils should they come his way out of this battle. Richard Rice, though, responding well here. Doesn't look like he's uh, lose, lost quite as much on this lap, and indeed he hasn't. He's pegged the gap pretty much to Julian Gromit. Steve Allen uh, dropped a bit further back from James Mostica. We saw him go across the grass. Steve Booth will be joining him momentarily. He's recovered again to sixth place. This is our position got back up to before the second spell. It is. Touching the rear wheel, and Richard Rice as they head into it, and then through the Zulus they go. Gary Carter is closing up to them. James Mostica is closing up to Gary Carter. So there is a good battle for third going on as well here. So we're looking at battles for first and second, third and fourth, and fifth and sixth at the minute, Howard. Yeah, absolutely. As you say, Steve Booth on the recovery ride here, still setting the fastest lap on the track at the moment by some two seconds, it has to be said. Very impressive pace. And Mostica has got Gary Carter behind, further back behind this battle. There has been a change of position for third place. That was through Boot Howard. Yep. But I, th I think he's lost it, yeah. Uh, oh, no, I'm looking at a similar livery rider. Sorry. That's, that's fine. You see, just flashing through shot there, that was uh, James Mostica and then Gary Carter. It's actually Steve Booth on the now. They both got uh, a reddish suit. They have. Um, Steve Booth on the back of Steve Allen at the moment. So all there the is uh, Carter we just saw. And then we're back here with uh, the leaders. And it's all closing up, actually, because there you can just see Mostica in the back of the shot there. We've still got three laps to go as they cross the line here. So this one could heat up quite nicely here. The top four, there they were in shot. And then behind them, there is Steve Allen with the high-vis helmet and Steve Booth on his tail on a recovery ride here. And here for the race lead, Jacob, up the hill. Lovely move there. Julian Gromit up the inside, takes the lead. Will Richard Rice have any response as they head towards Inkermans? Or will he think better of it and just stay where he is for the points in the championship? I think that is moved on for Julian Gromit. Fantastic overtaking manoeuvre up to Christmas. Parks his bike on the inside line. Brakes a bit later. Thank you very much, says Julian Gromit. Into the boot. There you go now. There'll be two laps remaining after this. Mostica 
comes into your shot, he's right behind them now. This is definitely a three-way battle. There's two seconds the gap at the end of the last lap. At the end of this one, we're talking less than a second. Yeah, absolutely. So, Gromit, your new race leader, now confirmed through on timing. Well, Richard Rice, oh no! Richard Rice is down! Richard Rice, the championship leader, has lost it! And it threw Mostica wide as well! And that will promote Gary Carter up to second place. And the bike's cut out. He's not able to get it started again, is he? Doesn't look like it, Howard. He's still down there trying to get it going. Massive drama then here in terms of the championship at Wilton Mill in the dying laps of race one. Richard Rice is dropping down the order. He still hasn't got underway. He still hasn't got the bike going. This man, Julian Gromit, goes on to the last lap. I think James Mostico managed to keep hold of second. He didn't. Gary Carter now up. Steve Booth is in third. Mostico ended up fourth there. Richard Rice has got... No, he's still wheeling his bike at the side of the track. This is a disaster for Richard Rice. Yeah, that looks like the end of his race. And in amongst all of that, have we mentioned Steve Booth? In amongst all that, has got up to third place. And now I've just seen him out the window. Uh, he's got past Gary Carter as well. We'll see it here. You just saw him in the back of your shot. Julian Gromit is coming around the boot to take the win here. But after seeing him go down twice, Steve Booth may be your biggest winner of all here. Julian Gromit rounds the final corner and takes the win for race one of round 10 in the Gloucester Bike Specialist Veterans Class. But for second place and a critical 50 championship points. There is Steve Booth. Gary Carter finishes third, then James Mostica. Steve Allen in fifth. And then there'll be a gap back to Simon Thackeray, Howard Taylor and Joseph O'Neill, Dennis Latham, Mark Hancock. And then uh, Paul Ward we expect to come through as well. But that could be critical for who takes home the veterans title by the end of today. Richard Rice will be classified in 12th. Yeah, and that gets him significantly. No, nope. Alan's just come through and waved his finger. He won't be classified. He won't be classified. He didn't finish the race. He will not receive any points for that one. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. Right. I'm going to work the maths here. That has put Steve Booth in the lead of the championship by 16 points with one race left to go. Can't wait for this one this afternoon. That is going to be something. So, Julian Gromit gets the first place. Brilliant stuff there. That was a good ride as well from Gary Carter. Is he, is he wearing a Royal Mail? I, I was going to say during. It looks like he's about it to deliver like my post. To, yeah. <laughs> post on a pit bike could be a new service. Let's have a look back then over what was a very dramatic race. Here was lap one. The top two in the championship started at the head of the field, but this was Steve Booth going down. We thought that was it. This but is his recovery, Howard. Absolutely. First of many overtakes he made before going back down, I believe, in this replay. We'll see it. We're going to see it, yeah. So there was a Royal Mail Co. That's brilliant. There it Gary is. Carter, and there is Booth going down. And we thought that that was uh, going to be that. This was Mostica and uh, Steve Allen. Yeah, Steve Allen going wide there and losing the position. Yeah, at the front, this was the fantastic battle between Julian Gromit and Richard Rice. Gromit here pulling off a beautiful move up the hill in tricky conditions to take the win. Uh, to take the lead, excuse me. And then just a little while later, just the lightest of... Oh, the back just got away from him. And that was Richard Rice down. How critical will that... Have? Well, it has been critical. The lead of the championships changed.
we move on to our next race. Howard, who have we got? It's the Gloucester Bike Specialist pit bike veterans and this one is important because the championship is about to get decided here Richard Rice led the championship coming into today but had the uh, had the off earlier on didn't finish and thus scored no points meanwhile Steve Booth second in the championship scored 50 to take him from second in the championship to being in the lead by 16 points. Julian Gromit also took the win. He's sits third in the championship. So, what order will these three finish the championship? As they stand at the moment, it's Steve Booth on 770, Richard Rice on 754, and Julian Gromit on 727. All of this, I continue to stress, is on the Howard Mitchell, I botched it together in the spreadsheet <laughs> maths system. So this is by no means official. Remember, folks, you can go to results.alphatiming.co.uk and click on BMB to get those official results. But we are suggesting that Steve Booth needs to finish in the top ten to uh, secure the championship. Uh, he needs to keep Richard Rice at bay. Uh, the grid with Richard Rice and Steve Booth on the front row, Julian Gromit and James Mostercar on row two. Flags in the air. It's time to go racing for the last time in the pit bike veterans for 2018. Away they go. Richard Rice gets the start he needs, but so does Steve Booth. Through turn two they go. Rice leads in the white, Booth in the red. That's Gary Carter uh, on the 11. Julian Gromit is the one he's battling with. And everyone, I'm delighted to say, has got through the first few corners here. This is what Richard Rice needs to do. But he needs a few more bikes between him and Steve Booth for this to work. 60 points for the win, 50 as he for the second. Inside going into the boot, up the inside. He's made it stick as Carter looks to get in on the action. Doesn't quite manage to do so. So change for the lead. Through the boot, Steve Booth, now our race leader. That's what he needs to do to keep his championship lead, which he gained earlier this morning. Indeed, this is exactly what he needs. Steve Booth, Richard Rice, Gary Carter, Julian Gromit, Steve Allen, Howard Taylor, Simon Thackeray, Joseph O'Neill, Mark Hancock. And look at this side by side. Richard Rice knows how important it is to get ahead. Still side by side. And job done. That was a lovely move and good racing room given by both riders. I don't think you could have done that move earlier today. I really don't. I think the conditions have changed to allow you to have a go at those kind, kinds of moves. And Richard Rice moves back into the lead, but it's not going to be enough at the moment by our maths to get him by. If, he, if it ended like this, uh, and I know Julian Gromit has got past uh, Gary Carter as well to get into third place. So if it finished like it is at the moment, it would still be see Steve Booth by just six points. Yes. Fastest lap of the race from Richard Rice at 54.342. There are six laps left in the Gloucester Bike Special uh, Specialist Premier uh, Pit Bike Veterans, excuse me, for 2018. And now Julian Gromit is looking to get it. Down goes Richard Rice! That's Richard Rice down! And that could be it from the championship perspective. Steve Booth inherits the lead, Julian Gromit in second, but that could have been all it took to give the championship to Steve Booth. All of this still to play out, of course. Yeah, Bryce is still running. He's got his bike back up and underway, but uh, he's lost a significant number of positions. I'm just trying to pick him up through the field. We'll have to wait till he comes through on the lap timers. Going through the boot now. I think he's going to drop to it. He's at least ninth. Yeah, Booth goes through. Gromit only two tenths behind him. We'll follow those guys up the hill now on the stream. Howard will update you as soon as Rich Rice from Gromit moves to the inside and takes the position going into Christmas Corner. Richard Rice, Rice is in eighth place as Gromit moves to the lead. Gromit will lead us through the Zulus. He's got Booth in second, Carter in third. Quick succession. Booth doesn't need to get that position back. 
he needs more than anything to stay upright and take some, say, take some points. At the moment, he's sitting pretty for this one. As far as we can tell, this is the dream situation for Steve Booth. So he looks set to take the veteran's title, if he can just stay there. As down, uh, that's Richard Rice again. Richard Rice is down in the boot. He's down in the boot. He's underway again. But it goes from bad to worse for Richard Rice. He's gone down and lost even more time. We follow our leaders up from Christmas. It looks to us, Howard, that the championship is a foregone conclusion now. Two downs in the same race. We'll recover from that. Not with four laps to go. Booth looks content behind Gromit. I think Gromit's probably got just a measure of him on pace. As shown in the first part of this race. Booth probably knows he doesn't need to get right on his tail. He will have seen, he will have seen Richard Rice go down. For first instance at least. say here is Richard Rice if, if there are any more incidents I have to say um, it will actually be uh, questionable whether Julian Robert may take second from him in the championship as well at the moment it's going to be Booth Robert that's uh, sorry Booth Rice Robert top three but when Steve, uh, this is the question is Steve Booth just going to hold station enough and will he spy an opportunity to go for the leader this one and close it out in style two laps remain Gromit always goes wider on the exit of that last corner doesn't seem to make too much of a difference Ooh, the he gets bulked though it, but he's going to get them back as uh, we come back to Richard Rice who's Right up with his visor, surprisingly wide open for a wet conditioned race. There's not much spray coming off the back of these now, especially as it's stopped raining for the past hour or so. So, yeah, indeed. Sorry, just to confirm then, there is the change of the lead. Steve Booth now ahead of Julian Gromit. Richard Rice has just got past Simon Thackeray, so that puts him into seventh place. I think it's the tactics we, we've seen couple of times this year at BMB in which the second place rider bides his time any mistakes and you can just pick up on like that as the last lap board is shown to Steve Booth and Julian Gromit well and, um, well if any mistakes aren't made it's a last lap effort which we're expecting to see from Gromit now well what a close to the season it's been in the veterans and look at this it's not over yet Julian Gromit goes to the inside of Steve Booth up the hill into Christmas corner Gets the job done. Will Booth have any answer when he gets the switch back into Inkermans? He's going to get good drive off of that corner towards the Zulus, but I don't know if he'll be able to do anything with it. All of this, and <laughs> these two are competing for where they can finish in the championship at the very sharp end. Round the final few corners they come, it looks like it's going to be Julian Gromit. Beautifully executed move at the start of the lap and he's going to take the double win in the pit bike veterans brilliant win for Julian Gromit but as far as we can tell the real congratulations or the biggest congratulations goes to Steve Booth who provisionally we stress as Richard Rice goes down again and that he hasn't taken the checkered flag yet that could have handed Julian Gromit second in the championship depending on where he finishes it really has been a gutting race for Richard Rice you can see the frustration there he crosses the line in seventh so I think he'll still uh, have second in the championship my goodness me though how it's changed in this class today the Gloucester bike specialist Prem pit bike veterans Julian Gromit your race winner then Steve Booth in second and we very provisionally say uh, is the uh, champion in this class for 2018. Gary Carter in third, Howard Taylor fourth, fifth for Steve Allen, Joseph O'Neill in sixth, Richard Rice in seventh after going down three times. How uncharacteristic is that? 
Simon Thackeray uh, finished 8th, 9th for Dennis Latham, Mark Hancock in 10th, and uh, James Rostica was so had some issues during the battle run. Well, here was the drama then. Early on, Richard Rice versus Steve Booth for the championship. Steve Booth went into this in the lead of the championship. So it was all to play for. Richard Rice had to take the fight to Booth and hit and take it he did. Brilliant battle between these two, but then just a few laps later, down went Richard Rice there at Christmas Corner where we've seen so many go down today. And that put Steve Booth in the lead and left Julian Gromit as well to seize the opportunity to uh, gain the lead there. They had a great battle then. More disappointment for Richard Rice as he went down a further two times. It was Julian Gromit who takes home the double win. He did everything he needed to do this weekend. There was Richard Rice going again, down again for what we believe is the third time. And Steve Booth finishes second on the road and we believe has taken the championship in the very last day of running here at Wilton Mill 